Hello everyone, in today's class we will continue with the functional components of the computer input unit section. Input unit The input unit is composed of the input devices which accepts the data in a form that a computer can utilize. Also, the input devices sends the data or instructions to the processing unit to be processed into useful information. It basically sends the data, information and instruction to the central processing unit in a form that a machine can understand and further process. It generally sends the information in binary format. The general form of the machine to understand the data and information is binary form. There are many examples of input devices but the most commonly used input devices are keyboard and mouse. Some more devices are, here is a list of the input devices. These are keyboard, mouse, light pen, optical mark reader, smart card reader, barcode reader, QR code reader, biometric sensors, touch screens, microphone, web camera, magnetic ink character reader, graphic tablet, joysticks and scanner. Keyboard. In normal range, the keyboard is used to type the text and numbers while in modern computer, the interpretation of the key press is generally left to the software. So here, a keyboard basically in inserts the data and information or the text or the numbers but for the modern day computer, the keyboard usage is left on the programs we are using. A computer keyboard distinguishes each physical key from e every other and reports the key presses to the controlling software. Keyboards are also used for computer gaming, either with a regular keyboard or by using keyboards with the special gaming features. Apart from alphabet keys, that is 26 keys, capital and small letters, there are several other keys for various purposes such as number keys to type the numbers. There are 10 number keys from 0 to 9 are there on each keyboard. Sometimes there are two sets of keys. One is horizontal, another one is separate numeric pad, just like calculator. Direction keys. There are four direction keys left, right, up and down which allows the cursor to move in these directions. Unlike alphabet and numbers keys, these keys do not display anything on screen. Function keys. There are generally 12 function keys starting from F1 to F12. These keys have special tasks and the task may change from program to program. Just like direction keys, these two do not print anything. Other keys. There are several other non-printable keys for various different purposes. This includes caps lock, tab, control, pause, delete, backspace, spacebar, shift, enter and the list goes on, which are used for special purposes. Mouse A mouse is a pointing device that functions by detecting two-dimensional motion relative to its supporting surface. The mouse motion typically translates into the motion of the cursor on the display. So as we move the mouse, it sends the information to the processing unit, the movement of the cursor on the actual display and the display shows you that something is in motion and that's how mouse moves which allows for fine control of a graphical user interface that is for GUI applications. A mouse primarily comprises of three parts that is the buttons, the handling area and the loading object. There are two main versions of the mouse, the first is mechanical mouse, another one is optical mouse. Nowadays we are using optical mouse but in earlier days there was a mechanical mouse where the rolling ball was placed within it and as you were moving mouse the ball was moving and that's how the position of the cursor were decided, processed and displayed on screen. Light pen. It is a light sensitive stylus attached to video terminals to draw pictures or to select menu options. A light pen is a computer input device that is used hand in hand with a computer monitor. It is called light pen because its action is activated by the light. Therefore, it is a light sensitive pen. It is important to note, however, that a light pen cannot work with the LCD screens on traditional monitors. For LCD screens, there is a stylus, but in earlier versions of monitors, that means in CRT monitors, the light pen were used in order to just pin point on screen and draw whatever you wish to. Just like the way you are nowadays handling your devices with a stylus. Optical mark reader. You probably have observed while appearing for different MCQ tests. You get a special sheet. You call it as an OMR sheet. This OMR sheet is actually 
read by specialized devices like optical mark reader devices in order to identify the correct marks and incorrect marks and prepare your results. Thereby, the evaluation process can become faster. Optical mark recognition, also called optical mark reading or OMR as an abbreviated term, is a process of capturing human mark data of document forms such as surveys and tests. Optical mark reader devices work with a dedicated scanner device that shines a beam of light onto the form paper. The contrasting reflexivity at predetermined positions on the page is then used to detect the marked areas because they reflect less light than the black areas of the paper. That is why you are asked to darken the circle on the OMR device with the black pen so that if the light beam is thrown, the light is less reflexive and that's how the device identifies the correct and incorrect marks of the user. Smart Card Reader A smart card reader is a data input device that reads data from the card shaped storage medium. Modern card readers are electronic devices that can read plastic cards embedded with either a barcode or a magnetic strip. You probably have observed this set of cards. There is a black strip on the back of this card it contains the data and information. And this data and information will be read by this card type of devices, computer chip or any other storage medium. A memory card reader is a device used for communication with a smart card or a memory card. A magnetic card reader is a device used to read magnetic strip cards such as credit cards. A business card reader is a device used to scan and electronically save the printed business cards. Barcode reader. A barcode reader or barcode scanner is an electronic device for reading printed barcodes like flatbed scanners. It consists of light source then a lens and the light sensor translating optical impulses into the electrical one. Additionally, nearly all barcode readers contain decoder circuitry analyze the barcode image data provided by the sensor and sending the barcode contents to the scanner's output port and then it supplies to the central processing unit for further processing. So you can see in this diagram, this is a handheld barcode scanner. This is generally used, you probably have observed in most of these shopping malls for the fast billing process, they use this device. They simply scans the code of the product and the details of the product including price, the date of manufacturing, date of expiry and other details will be loaded directly in our bill. And at the end of it, the bill is immediately prepared and printed. That's how through this, the sales has become more faster. QR code reader. A QR code reader is a two dimensional barcode that is readable by smartphones only. It allows to encode over 4000 characters in a two dimensional barcode. You can see here, this is what the QR code sample. You can accommodate 4000 characters in this two dimensional barcode format. QR codes may be used to display text to the user, to open a URL or to save a contact to the address book or to compose text messages. So here the QR code uses for different purposes. QR code is registered trademark of Denso Wave Incorporated. So this is a company who basically invented this technology and they have made it for the general public. And we are being benefited from it. To read QR codes with your smartphone, you need an appropriate software installed on your mobile device which reads the QR code. Biometric sensors. The biometric sensors are the input devices used for identifying person's identity Biometrics is a technology that verifies person's identity by measuring unique to the individual biological trait. You can see in this diagram, a fingerprint is being scanned. This is what you call the biometric sensor. There are many other biometric sensors which to be considered in this category as an input device like retina scanner or DNS scanners and so on. The biometric technologies includes dynamic signature verification, retinal iris scanning, DNA identification, face shape recognition, voice recognition and fingerprint identification etc. Touchscreens A touchscreen is an electronic visual display that can detect the presence and the location of the touch within the display area. So generally when we touch a particular location, the touch device identify our touch presence and then perform the necessary action. The term generally refers to touching the display of the device with the finger or hand. 
Touch screens can also sense other passive objects such as stylus. Touch screens are common in devices such as game consoles, all-in-one computer, tablet computers and smartphones. Microphone A microphone is an input device that enables us to send a sound input to the computer. The microphone works in tandem with the sound card of our device. You speak your words or input a sound through a mic and the sound card translates its electrical signal form from microphone into a digitized form that a computer can store and process. So the electrical signal will be converted to the digitized form that is in a form of digits 1 and 0 so that the system can store and process it further in a form of sound file. Webcam. A webcam is a video camera that feeds its images in real time to a computer or a computer network, often via USB, Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Their most popular use is the establishment of the video links permitting computers to act as a video phones or video conference sections. The common use as a video camera for the World Wide Web gives the webcam its name. Other popular uses include security surveillance, computer vision, video broadcasting and for recording social videos. MICR stands for Magnetic Ink Character Reader. Magnetic Ink Character Recognition or MICR is a character recognition technology used primarily by banking industry to facilitate the processing of checks and makes up the routine number of account number at the bottom of the check. The technology allows computers to read information such as account numbers of printed documents. Unlike barcodes or similar technologies, however, MICI codes can be easily read by the humans. You can see this is what a sample of the bank check. You can see the account number and the check number. This is a device. If you put your check within it, the device will be verifying your check is valid or not. And the device will automatically read out the account number and the check number and verifies authenticity. MICR characters are printed in special typefaces with a magnetic ink or toner usually contains iron oxide. So this account number and the check number being printed by the bank contains iron oxide which can be recognized by this specialized device called MICR. Graphic Tablet A graphic tablet also called digitizer, graphic pad, drawing tablet or pen tablet is a computer input device that enables a user to hand draw images and graphics similar to the way a person draws images with a pencil and a paper. These tablets may also be used to capture data on handwritten signatures. It can also be used to trace an image from piece of paper which is taped or otherwise secured to the surface. Capturing data in this way either by tracing or entering the corners of linear polylines or shapes called digitizing. The device consists of flat surface upon which a user may draw or trace an image using an attached stylus, a pen-like drawing apparatus. You can see this is a drawing pad or you can call it as a graphic tablet. This is what a stylus. User can directly draw or write anything on this surface. It will be sent to the processing unit for further processing. Joystick. A joystick is an input device consists of stick that pivots on a base and reports its angle or direction to the device it is controlling. Joysticks are often used to control video games and usually have one or more push buttons whose state can also be read by the computer. A popular variation of the joystick used in the modern video game consoles is the analog stick. Joysticks are also used for controlling machines such as cranes, trucks, underwater, unmanned vehicles, wheelchairs, surveillance cameras and other turning radius lawn movers. Scanners In computing, an image scanner, often abbreviated to just scanner, it is a device that optically scans images, printed text, handwriting or the object and converts it to a digital image. Common examples found in the offices are variations of the desktop that is flatbed. This is what the example of the flatbed scanner where the document is placed on a glass window for scanning. Handheld scanners where the device is moved by the hand have evolved from the text scanning wands to 3D scanners used for industrial design, reverse engineering, test and measurements, orthotics, gaming and other applications. 
So this flatbed is used generally for the offices and the handheld is used for this many fields. Mechanically driven scanners that move the document are typically used for large format documents where a flatbed scanner would be impractical. So when the length of the document is too large which cannot fit in the flatbed then you have to use the handheld scanner.